Hey folks, Michael McGee here. We have been given an I Am Samani rooster. If you know anything about I Am Samani roosters or chickens in general, they're known for their complete black coloration. And if I understand right, everything's black, including the meat. And I find this to be hard to believe. Now, before you get upset about me potentially eating this rooster, it was given to me for that express purpose. So for me not to do it would be basically to betray the person that gave it to me. So you guys already know I'm gonna eat anything I can get my hands on anyway. Me and the boys will definitely try this booger out. So what we're gonna be determining is, is the meat really black? That's what we're here to find out. Now, if you know anything about them, you'll know they are a rare bird. They're not just very prolific. You can't just find them. They're not like the Plymouth Rock or the Plymouth Brethren. They're not just on every corner. But I just find it amazing that everything is black on them. It's, it's, it's a very interesting gene that they have. So without further ado, Let's get in here and find out. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pluck this bird because I wanna see what the skin looks like, not only the meat. So let's get this job of plucking done, then we'll have a look. We got it plucked here. As you can see, the skin is gray. And I was interested to see what the skin was like. I think that when I look through the skin, I can sort of see pretty black meat. So what I'm gonna do, as is my custom, I wanna age this on ice for two days before we cook it and eat it. I love to eat chicken meat that way. So I'll see you after this has been aged on ice for two days. chicken it is very very interesting looking definitely a purple looking chicken I've never seen anything like it but we're excited about trying it because it's so rare and supposed to be a great delicate meat so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it in a way to where we don't destroy the flavor we don't want to hide it or mask it or anything so I'm just gonna use some pink sea salt and a little bit of camp dog seasoning just to give it a good flavor and to help bring out the actual flavor of the chicken so we know what we're actually eating. All right, now we're gonna get out here, throw it in this wood cook stove of ours and bake this thing for a couple hours and we'll see you when it's done. All right, let's get this out of here. Get it out of here, get it out of here. Boy, it may try to fall apart. Let's see, we don't want it to fall apart. I mean, we do, but not until we look at it. There we go. Now we're fixing to find out the truth about this thing. Is the meat black or is it white? The meat's not black. Very young bird. The bone's black. Look here, guys, the bone's black. The meat's sort of white, but there's definitely black pigmentation in the skin. The meat's not really black. It looks pretty white. All right, guys, it's time to try this chicken out. I've never seen anything quite like it. Now we pulled some of the meat back and it Definitely has a white meat look, the breast does. Uh, I'm gonna cut into the leg right quick and see what the dark meat looks like. It looks just like regular dark meat chicken to me. So anything other than the meat is definitely black. The bones are black, but the meat is just like regular dark meat chicken. It does have some, the skin and whatnot is, is very black, but 
All right, as you see, we got the table set. We're getting ready to sit down and eat as a family, but first we're gonna do a taste test for you. So all you boys reach in here. Let me cut this big piece up right here. Everybody reach in here and get yourself a piece and let's try it. Oh, Caleb went for that dark meat. You can get me a little piece of the dark meat. What do you think, Caleb? Pretty good? Does it taste different than regular chicken? Mm. It does kind of taste different than regular chicken. Try a skin. I use salt and camp dog. Oh no, it's different, but it's good. There ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't know that I'd spend a thousand dollars on one, but it's definitely worth eating. It's, it's nothing wrong with it at all. If you would like to get some camp dog seasoning like what we used on this, drop down in the comments and you can order it there. Use McGee for the promo code and get yourself 15% off. But we're saying that that was good chicken. What do you think, Joe? Good. Matt? Yeah. My cameraman don't know yet because he wanted to video and not eat, but we'll put him on it here after a while. We hope you enjoyed this video. We've had a blast cooking this. Just learning what the Amishamani chicken's all about, so... That may be our only one we ever get to eat. If you ever get to try one, don't be afraid because it's good. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.